everybody, it's Dino Danger here. I'm coming to you live from my secret bunker in Bassville Park, Florida. As you can see, we're still in the midst of our corona intoxication, investigation, infestation, whatever you want to call it. I'm tired of it. We're all tired of it, but we're doing what we can. In the meantime, uh, this will be my second show in two weeks. I got to tell you, though, if you're going to keep watching these, you're going to hear some stuff you're probably not going to like at some point. I'm probably going to say something offensive. Well, I'm sure I will. In the meantime, sit back, relax, have a cocktail, stay inside, chill out. What can I tell you? This is a little bit we like to call the Darwin Awards. You know, it never ceases to amaze me. But here's a story about a woman and her husband. They decide to unload the gun, take some selfies, put the gun back. Meanwhile, somebody loads it back up again, puts the clip back in it, and he decides to take some more pictures and doesn't check the clip and shoots himself in the head and kills himself. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the coronavirus. I just can't help but laugh at that shit. All right, let's see what's going on in the news. Well, here's some good news. A pair of Australian friends are splitting a $1.4 million lottery jackpot thanks to one of the women making a mistake in their agreed-upon ticket purchasing schedule. The Canberra woman contacted the lot on Wednesday morning and told officials she had purchased her ticket for Tuesday's Oz Lotto drawing by mistake. I'm in it with a friend, the woman said. We take turns buying uh, Oz Lotto tickets every week. It wasn't even my turn this week. I mistakenly bought the ticket thinking it was my week. I'm so glad I did. Go figure. The woman said that she and her friend have been playing the lottery together for about 20 years, and each year they save their winnings until December. For the past 20, 20 years, we've been saving up our winnings throughout the year for a beautiful Christmas lunch, and then we spoil ourselves with a shopping spree, she said. This Christmas is going to be a little different, you think? <laughs> the friends are splitting a Division One jackpot of $1,445,922.15. winning ticket was purchased from the Waramanga News Agency. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I guess that probably wraps it up for, uh, for this week, you know. Uh, see if I can get you out another one next week. In the meantime, uh, you know, check with me on different things. Always visit my website, dinodanger.com. Easy to spell, easy to remember. There's a tip button on there if you're feeling generous or anything. Uh, it's tough for musicians these days. Uh, I'm sure everybody has a friend who's a musician or does this kind of thing for a living. And, uh, geez, I mean, it's, it's going to be months before I see a paycheck again, so... Anyway, don't worry about it. I'll get it by one way or another. You know, I mean, if things get really bad, I can always go back to my old job of turning tricks and dealing drugs to make up the money. So don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But uh, you guys take care. Stay healthy. Love you. Bye. If you're looking for a good time, don't be a stranger. Just call me no danger.